to Yardy Belly TV and on today's episode of Taste Buds, we are doing some jerk chicken. Yes, yes, the famous jerk chicken. But today we're doing something a little bit different in that we are going to be making it in our new wave oven. The new wave oven is a quick and easy way to do all of your cooking and baking. It's a healthier alternative and it uses infrared technology and it is an amazing tool to use for cooking guys so that's what we're going to be using today for our jerk chicken so stick and stay if you want to see the outcome sometimes you just have to go with some stuff like this yeah some grace jerk seasoning so i always have a bottle of grace jerk seasoning in my refrigerator as well as guys i took the time out to make my powder jerk seasoning and so this is a preparatory blend you can find powder jerk seasoning on the market and yes i know that doing it um you know from scratch is best but and this is a quick and easy jerk uh, chicken guys and so the first thing I've, i'm gonna add is my powdered seasoning and guys you have to be very careful with this because the, the flavor is very strong very strong all right and then the next thing i'm gonna add is some garlic powder and uh in low the, the reason why you don't want to add some of the powdered seasoning is this is not gonna marinate that long all right this is gonna marinate maybe about 15 to 20 minutes all right and uh, i promise you guys i've done this many times before and uh, the outcome is always the same scrumptious crazy delicious um food we're talking about and so i'm not worried you know about the the outcome because i know some folks are gonna say no virgin you can you can do that you have to use your onion and your garlic and your scallion yeah that is when we are marinated overnight this is a midweek meal and so we're going with it and this is my sasson yeah the sasson seasoning is the bomb all right and this is the only such seasoning i'm gonna use um aside from what you see i made their proprietor all right so listen again i'm not a powdered seasoning fan and i use garlic powder and i use my own personal blend of seasonings all right the next thing i'm gonna add is some smoked paprika and paprika again this is not powdered seasoning this is ground seasoning this is ground up uh you know uh herbs all right so don't come for me and say boy well, you peer powder seasoning i use this is paprika all right and that is important for color okay again i'm going back for my indian roots i'm using a little bit of garam masala and garam masala is an indian blend like a curry but it don't give that curry color you understand and there you have it there you have it the last thing i'm gonna add to this is some oil and guys another thing i want to tell you when you add oil to your marinade what the oil does is allow for the marinade to seep in to the body of the meat. Alright, so you just add some oil there. I use maybe about a tablespoon of oil. And I'm just gonna stir this around. And now I use my hand to cut my can butter. You just have to stir this and make sure everything is properly coated. Alright, and then you put this down for a little bit. And guys, now watch the face. No matter how you see it look brown and light brown. I have ways to make it better all right as a matter of fact let me just do this right now i'm gonna add some soya sauce and this is a dark mushroom soya sauce that i'm gonna add let me just show you see there dark mushroom soya sauce that i got from the chinese supermarket all right and you want a dark soya sauce guys all right so that the color kick up you want that nice you know a uh, beautiful color what you don't want to use browning because browning is really and truly just caramel burnt sugar you know and not really giving a flavor more than just beating up the color of this thing see there look on that look on that 
first and then the last thing the very last thing I'm gonna add I'm gonna leave my spoon in there and grab another spoon is my jerk seasoning all right and this is the real deal yeah yeah man the real deal jerk seasoning you see that look on that and this is a mild jerk seasoning so I can add two spoons I have to be careful because the wifey is not really too light the whole part stuff and guys when you see me put this in the machine your head is gonna mash up all right and if you have not yet if you don't have one of these machines i promise you guys you need to run out and get yourself a machine may I tell you that yeah may I tell you all right so this is gonna stay and it's gonna pretty up itself and we'll come right back so this is the new wave guys and it is a complete system that is reportedly um, able to cook your food in record time uh, using infrared sensor, using convectional um, technology and also using, what's the, what's the regular one? The regular conventional. So it uses conventional oven um, heat. It uses a convectional um, um, thing where the fan circulates the food and it uses infrared which reportedly uh, cooks the food from the inside out. It comes in three sections which is the power head which I have attached to the glass dome. Um, this is um, high tempered plastic. Yeah, a very strong um, plastic focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus all right so this is plastic and then now it has the bottom section now the bottom section comes with a, a, a cooking pan or a drip pan on the inside here and then the the um the lower section of the thing it also comes with a rack and you can use the rack in two ways you can use the rack as a four inch rack meaning your your food is four inch off the ground of the lower section or you can use it as a one inch rack which your food is one inch off the, off the thing all right so for this demonstration we're gonna use both areas we're gonna use the cooking pan underneath here and we're gonna use the four inch rack now some models comes with a two inch rack so the rack would the two inch rack would be lower you know like such all right but for this exercise we're just gonna use it this way all right so now we are going to put our marinated meat on to our uh, new new wave of it because I have different meats at different cooking size, I'm gonna put the the, the um, smaller meats on the lower um, drip pan to um, start. So I have some organic chicken here, um, as you can see. Yeah, and we did the the um, marinating about uh, an hour ago, and so. We're just gonna put the lower meat, the, the, the smaller pieces on the drip pan and, and I have some wings and some, some drumsticks. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put those on the drip pan like such. And normally if you had the, 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 two, the two tier, then you would put it on the other tier, obviously. But we don't have the two tier, so we're not stressing ourselves, all right? So there we go now. Let's put the meat up and then you want to space them out. And the good thing about this is what will happen is the bigger pieces, the breast and the thighs, what will happen to them is that as they cook, the juices from these will fall down and will marinate and base the smaller pieces. All right, so you want to put it down. Um, I've taken off the skins of this, but you can leave, you could leave the skin on. And this is my famous jerk, jerk chicken, guys. So there you go. Mm -hmm. See that? I just put your, don't put the thighs down with the skin. And you just put them on like such. Beautiful. Alright. And guys, this is not a big bully for people thing. You have to be calm a little bit. You have to be a little bit um, ingenious to utilize it this way. Yeah. So there you go right there and the next thing you're gonna do now is attach the top piece and now you want to you want to just put your dome down it's as simple as that 
make sure when you put it down yeah it, it, it clicks into place yeah and you are semi ready all right beautiful look at that beautiful so it panel up here and as you can see once it's turned on you get a zero there you simply want to do something like this you want to click your power level and it defaults to high all right it defaults to high um if you want it to be less like a 90 percent you can turn you just click nine and it goes to 90 percent so your power level is now 90 percent all right and the lower you go is the less power obviously i will i will keep it at 90 percent for this demonstration because i want to vary the cooking time now the cook time is measured in minutes guys and so cook time and you go 25 minutes and see I'm gonna go 25 minutes and when I when I click 25 then you want to click start and it's as simple as that your new wave oven is on and your meats are gonna be ready to be turned so what i'm doing here is i'm gonna allow it to cook to 25 minutes and after 25 minutes i'm gonna turn them over and switch places and do a little bit of, just monitor it and then you will know um there is no heat that is resonating outside of the container and you're pretty much done you can notice no nothing you just have to just wait on this to be done so see you in 25 minutes time all right guys so it has been 20 minutes mm -hmm. and the chicken already look as if it is cooked at least the top ones do so we're gonna do a check all right so guys when you're taking off the dome you want to be aware that it is super hot so you're gonna take the dome off and watch the heat all right and then the dome can be rest there's a dome um like a holder so you can put the dome hold right there guys look at the chicken already i cannot believe it i mean it's just we just put it on and look at what's going on already and so you want to just take your from and it's literally cook already you know mm -hmm. literally cook already don't bullshit wow totally cooked wow. and the juices you can see that the juices are running so it's not dry not dry at all and you just want to turn it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bring up some of these that are down here because I mean I wanted them to stay moist and that's why I left them down there but you can come up now you know so guys this is a quick and easy way to to do some jerk chicken and let's come back some one little you know gadget you don't have to you know heat up the whole house with the oven exactly i mean the kitchen is cool and the the most work i did was the marinating and you saw how quick and easy i made that yeah let me get the last two pieces and i like the fact that that juice from the chicken if you want to use it to base the chicken or yeah you can gravy. turn it into into, into um sauce mm -hmm. awesome you just separate and i'm putting everything up here guys so because it cook already so it don't make any sense you know no we keep it separated right no chicken shall be left behind do you like the wing cook already thank you <laughs> <laughs> no, <I have to. laughs> yes, last piece. There you have it, guys. I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit and then put it on for another five minutes. Alright. All so we have all our chicken on the top rack right now. And the wifey, as you know, the wifey always want our things different. So here we go now. We'll put one whole ripe plant in that nice um, chicken juice to bake. And we are at five minutes. So here it goes. Just to continue on, yeah? And so we see you in the next five minutes, 25 minutes, and you have jerk chicken and bake plant. What the something? So the five minutes is up. 
and based on what I can see the chicken is completely done but I think the plant needs an extra five minutes so what we're gonna do is remove the chicken and then allow the plant to finish up yeah you want to show them how the chicken look good um sweetheart yeah 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 Jack chicken, jack chicken. And guys, look on the, the wing or the wing um get brown up in just a little time. Just a little, a little five, five minutes. minutes. I mean, trust me guys, wow. this is amazing. So what we're gonna do is just lift the rack off and put it one side to cool and then do the planting for another five or so minutes. I mean the plant just nice and mellow out into that nice juices. Yes, yes, yes. So when you see this next video, that's the plating, cause this is done. You look good here. Mm -hmm. But what you want to do ideally is you want to keep your your lid closed for a little bit, because it's so super hot in it. Um, so you want to keep the, the lid closed. Um, and so you know, watch it, guys. It is it is hot to the touch, but not not like murder hot, like it will it will burn you. Not oven. Not yeah. And the rest of the kitchen is nice and smell good and everything and yeah, I said the thing said. So there you have it guys, our jerk chicken, quite unconventional jerk chicken um, for today. Remember to like, share, subscribe and call a friend and tell them, yeah, the Belly TV is on. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section, guys. Please, good comments. And uh, tell us what else would you cook in your new wave oven. I think this is one that people will love. And if you like it, if you have used a new wave oven before, drop a comment in the section so that we know. Once again, guys, tell us what would you like to see us cook in our new wave oven. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, the belly TV says so.